Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jerry Views back with another video and today I will show you guys how to fix any battery draining issues that you might have once you have updated your iPhone to the new iOS 18.2. So there are a lot of reports from different users that they are experiencing bad battery life on iOS 18.2. So I will show you guys a few tips and tricks that might help you fix the battery drain on your iPhone. Now the first thing you want to do is just wait. Once you have updated your iPhone to a new software update, you will have to wait for three to four days, maybe even a week until the update will basically settle in on the device that way and making sure that it's working properly. Now this has been confirmed by Apple. The update actually needs a few days until it starts working normally on the iPhone. And of course you get a better battery life. Now, the other thing you want to make sure you do is update to the latest release. Like you can see right here, I have my device on iOS 18.2 RC, but Apple did also release a new RC version, which was the RC2, and I still haven't updated my device to that version. So that's actually a mistake. You will have to update your device. If you're on the beta or the RC, you need to make sure that you have the latest update. So make sure you have your device updated. The next thing you want to make sure you have updated on your device are apps. Most of the popular apps will be releasing updates once an update is out for iOS, like a big update like iOS 18.2, then most likely will be followed by an update of the popular apps. So you want to make sure you have those apps up to date. If you don't want to do that manually, you can always go to your settings, go to apps and go right here under the app store section and make sure you have enabled automatic updates. If you have a device that does support the new Apple intelligence features, I suggest that you keep an eye on them and maybe even turn them off if you're not using them on your device. So if you have them enabled, you will find them of course right here under Apple intelligence at Siri. If you use these, it's okay. They will consume battery even though it's not that bad. But if you're not using them at all on your iPhone, you can just go ahead and completely turn them off. Now, one thing I suggest you keep off on your device unless you really need it are vocal shortcuts. Now, vocal shortcuts are a new feature of iOS 18 and can be found here under accessibility. You go right here, you will find vocal shortcuts. Now, what this allows you to do is basically set a shortcut, which you can say to perform an action. Now, this will consume a ton of battery. It's always monitoring, always listening to the microphone, waiting for your command to perform one of these actions that way consuming a ton of battery. Now the same goes for a similar feature, which you can find right here under the touch section, go to assistive touch and right here you will find a new feature called sound actions. Now sound actions allow you to perform any of these sounds, actually say any of these sounds to then perform an action that you want right here. This will also consume a ton of battery. So if you're not using it or maybe you have just enabled it just to try it out, make sure you have it disabled. And the same goes for another new feature of iOS 18 and that's music haptics. Now music haptics is actually a cool feature. What it does, if you haven't used it before, it will give you haptic feedbacks as you're listening to music on your device, which is actually quite cool to listen to, but it does consume a ton of battery. As you probably know, anything that involves the haptic engine on your iPhone does consume a ton of battery. So I suggest that you turn this off as well. So with iOS 18, of course, you know, we have a new control center. Now it's cool. You have a lot of new options here to customize the control center, add different things, add new toggles, and of course, add even toggles from third party apps. Now there will be third party apps that do offer right here toggles for the control center that are dynamic. Basically, they will have an animation on the control center like this one right here you can just tap it and it will actually animate right there on the on the control center it does look cool but it will actually consume a ton of battery so i suggest you don't use any of these toggles for the control center 
The next thing will be battery draining apps. Now you can find the apps that are draining your battery by going right here to the battery section and you will see a list of all the different apps that you use here and you can see how much battery they are using. Now of course by tapping on show activity you can see how long you have used those apps for. So if there is an app that you have used for a long time of course it will be at the top and will consume a ton of battery but you might see here different apps that actually you didn't use a lot but they still consume a ton of battery that means that it's time for those apps to go you can just remove them from your device and maybe even replace them with a better alternative from the app store next we're talking about widgets especially for the home screen when you add widgets to the home screen and even the lock screen make sure that you only add widgets that you actually need don't add widgets just for fun or just because they look cool because most of them now update a lot of times and will actually consume a ton of battery so make sure to give a check here to your home screen and see if you can remove any of the widgets that you maybe don't need now another thing I suggest you do is turn off airdrop for your device. If you're not using it all the time, make sure you go to settings, go under general, go to airdrop right here and just turn receiving off. And of course, you always make sure that you have bringing devices turned off as well. Now this is a feature that just drains the battery out of your iPhone and you probably have only used it once when Apple actually announced it and released it. Maybe you have just tried it out and probably ever since you haven't ever used this feature but it does consume a ton of battery so make sure you have it turned off next we're moving under the accessibility settings right here and right here we will have something called sound recognition now this is an older feature but a lot of people have this on and it does consume a ton of battery it's always enabled always listening for the sounds that you have enabled here and that way it will consume a ton of battery so you can see right here you have all these sounds if you have these enabled then it will always stay active listening for those sounds that way consuming a ton of battery and right here under the accessibility settings go ahead and find siri and make sure you have disabled always listen for the siri word that will consume a ton of battery as well because it's all the time active whether you have your iphone facing down on a table or maybe in your pocket it will always be active listening for the command to actually invoke siri that way of course everything that's always active does consume a ton of battery moving on to the seller data here head on to your seller data go to voice and data and make sure you turn off 5g if you don't have really good 5g coverage if you have like bad 5G coverage, and your iPhone is always switching between 4G or LTE and 5G, that will just drain the battery out of your iPhone. If you're on a place where there's great 5G coverage, of course you can keep it on, otherwise if it's just switching all the time, make sure that you completely turn it off. And last but not least, head on to your settings, go under general, and right here you will have background app refresh, the old trick to save battery on your iPhone, but it does really work and it actually has a lot of impact. So right here what I suggest you do, first of all go here and choose Wi-Fi only. If you have a limited data plan, you don't want these apps to be working in the background and consuming your data. Otherwise, you can go back here and see the list of apps that you have installed on your device. And from here, you can choose which apps you want to have enabled. I suggest that you go ahead and take a look at this, these apps right here and disable most of them that you don't actually need to be refreshing in the background. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. These are 15 tips and tricks that I suggest you take a look at and maybe even use a lot of them on your device to actually fix the battery drain issues that you might have on your new iOS 18.2 device. Now of course for these like first few days after you have installed the update you will most likely get a worse battery life so you can perform a lot of these actions and maybe revert them once some time has passed and the update has settled in on your device. So that's it for this video guys. Smash the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more and I will see you on the next one.